Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are brand new, welcome. Um, my name is Alyssa and I do tarot pick a card readings um, like this one. Um, I'm relatively new to the YouTube game. I actually just started my channel um, just a few weeks back. So if you are interested in other videos, please feel free to check out the other ones that I have posted. Um, and yeah, give me some feedback if you have some on, you know, videos that you would like to see or if any of these resonate with you, I would love to hear, um, you know, your personal reactions to them. Like if it did, in fact, speak to you or resonate with you, make sense, any of that, um, I would just love to hear um, your guys' feedback. All right. So for this video, we are doing a yes or no reading. Okay. And what that means is, is if you have a question that has been weighing on your mind and you want to know, should you or shouldn't you, or will this outcome result positively, negatively, all of that, this is what we're going to find out today. Okay. So how I like to do my pick a cards is I have um, three piles here listed below. We have pile number one with the citrine, Pile number two with the clear crystal and pile number three with the lapis lazuli. Now, please feel free to choose um, based off of intuition. Um, usually what I like to do whenever I watch pick a card readings on my own, um, I will usually close my eyes, visualize, you know what it is, my question, and then um, open my eyes and whichever one I'm drawn to initially, that's usually the pile that I choose. Um, some people are a little bit more visual where they need assistance from crystals, which is why I've placed them on the cards below, but you do what you feel um, works best for you, okay? Um, some people like to meditate, pause the video if you need to, that's always helpful as well. Um, but again, if there is more than one pile calling to you, feel free to choose the other ones. Okay. So, um, but before we do get started, I did want to share with you guys some news. So if you have been following or if you've been watching, um, my channel, um, you'll notice there's something brand new. <laughs> um, my boyfriend, uh, and I are engaged. Um, he proposed to me, um, just this past Monday and we've been together for five years. So, this was a huge surprise. I was definitely not expecting it, but oh my goodness, to say that I'm over the moon is an understatement. <laughs> and it's so crazy because um, in the past few readings that I have watched and even done on myself, engagement proposal has popped up a lot. So um, I think it was definitely, uh, you know, spirit telling me that, you know what, this was coming and sure enough, it did. And oh my God, I'm just uh, still in disbelief, but in, in such a good way, I'm very, very excited uh, to start this new chapter. So um, I definitely just wanted to share that with you guys. You know, I'm so sorry if that bored you, but <laughs> I'm just really excited. So, um, all right, we're going to go ahead and move on. Like I said, choose the pile um, that speaks to you. Go ahead and pause the video if you need a little bit more time. Um, again, this is pile one, pile two, and pile three. And we are going to go ahead and start with pile one. So I'm going to go ahead and move these two off to the side. We're going to start with the citrine. All right, so I'm going to move your energy card to the side right now. And we're going to look at what your tarot cards are. All right, the first one we have is the Emperor. We have the Sun card. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. All right, so group number one, right off the bat. So it looks like if you, um, thinking of your question, I would say your answer is a definitive yes. Okay. The reason why I say that is because we have the sun card here in the center and the sun card is a very positive card overall, even in the reverse position, it's just an overall general, uh, positive card. This beams like new beginnings, um, just, uh, it could represent fertility. It could represent, um, you know, moving, you know, or job promotions, anything like that. Any um, avenue of your life is just overall beaming at this point, you know, beaming with positivity. So for those of you who were maybe looking for 
Um, you know, like, should you take this new job opportunity? Yes. Should you move to this new location? Yes. <laughs> you know, no matter, or, you know, should you jump into this new relationship or should you start a family at this time? Yes. Okay. Uh, everything that I'm seeing right now is pointing to a yes. All right. Now we do have the emperor and the queen of wands here, and I don't want to ignore them because even though we have an overall general um, positive card and I'm seeing that it is more of a definitive yes, I'm still seeing some, um, I'd say caution here with the queen of wands in reverse. Um, the queen of wands in reverse talks about a possible um, either female or, um, you know, somebody that could, you know, you could find yourself in some sort of like social situation, um, you know, like could, I would say work, work is kind of the main thing that comes to mind is like, um, in your social settings at work, maybe your coworkers, um, maybe if this is determining or talking about a job promotion, or like if you are trying to apply for a position and you have other coworkers that could be jealous, of you trying to go for this. And maybe that's what's been holding you back from even applying. Um, it, it's basically telling you just to kind of be a little on the side of caution with that. I think it's still telling you to do it, go for it. Um, you know, you're in charge of your own happiness and your own destiny. Who cares what other people think? You know, if, if this is going to serve you for the better, you know, and, you know, if they can't be happy for you, then maybe they're just not the right people to have in your life. I mean, point blank. Like, that's just, to me, what I'm seeing. So this could be why you could have came here, you know, with you having that sense of hesitation of whether or not you should or shouldn't. I think that's what this is representing. That kind of uncertainty of like, whether or not um, this was a choice that you should even make. With having the sun card here, it's only... Um, signifying that yes, you are making the right choice. This will work out in your favor. So um, definitely keep that in mind, even though there is that little um, sense of weariness. I think overall, it's still telling you it's going to work out. All right. Then we have the emperor card. The emperor card is all about a sense of power or um, authority. And with the emperor, I think in this case, um, again, I'm still thinking like job wise. So if, if this has to do with you deciding on whether or not you should go um, apply for a, a higher position or even a new job in general, um, taking that sense of authority and power within yourself to be able to do that and not allow this hesitation to factor in. Um, you know, you've got the sun card here right in the middle of your spread. I think it's telling you, like, if this has been you where you're just like, well, should I, shouldn't I? Um, this right here is just like, again, that definitive answer of yes, you should. It will work out. OK, now the emperor can also um, talk about like a father figure or somebody who is um, just in that um, authoritative power. So maybe like you know, that in this case, it could represent your boss, you know, and you um, not being sure if you feel comfortable enough to approach your boss and say, hey, I think I should be considered for this position or whatever. Um, you know, don't allow that fear to take over. If anything, if you have that sense of confidence within yourself, you can, you know, approach the situation and you can achieve it. Okay. So, that's what I'm seeing. Now let's see what your energy card is. So we have woman holding a coin in reverse. All right. So let's see. I, so I'm still learning what these mean. So I have my little energy oracle booklet here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at what that means. Because to be quite honest, I'm not 100% sure on all of them. Um, so when this is in the reverse position, okay, how funny, it says that you're feeling unsure or fearful about finances or some health issue. It could also reveal a lack of value for yourself in your own life. Interesting. Okay. So I, again, I'm seeing, it's funny because, wow, I just saw this. This woman is in the reverse position and so is the queen of wands. Look at that. Okay. I, and like I mentioned earlier, this is talking about like that sense of uncertainty, right? Like, you, you know, you are probably here watching this for this reason to see like, should you or shouldn't you? 
And that's what this is talking about too. So again, I think just having that um, reevaluating your situation and now that you've kind of gotten that definitive yes, that this will work out in your favor, put these to the side, your worries to the side and take ownership and authority of what of your goals and make them into reality, point blank. Okay. So, um, group number one, I hope this was very helpful. This is a very quick little reading. Like I said, it was just a yes or no, but hopefully that gave you guys some sort of, um, clarity into your, uh, question there. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next pile. We're going to move on to pile two with the clear quartz. All right. So I'm going to move my little crystals, put that one to the side. Move your oracle card and let's see what we got. So we have the fool, the tower in reverse, and the four of swords. <laughs> All right. So, group two. I feel like this isn't necessarily a no, but it's not a hundred percent a yes. <laughs> and the reason why I say that, and I could be, you know, I could be wrong. I mean, I think depending on how you interpret this, but this is just my interpretation. Okay. Um, we have the tower card in the middle. Now, for those of you who don't know, the tower card is is one of those cards where usually a lot of people are more fearful of because it does talk about um, changes and sometimes changes, you know, change is good for the most part. But this is talking about a change, like a catastrophic change, um, one that you may not necessarily be ready for, it kind of shakes you to the core um, and turns your world upside down, basically. And when it's in the reverse position, it talks about... Um, Again, you just not necessarily being ready for this sudden change, okay? Um, and so with the full card, the full card is all about like new beginnings, but new beginnings in the sense of you taking a leap of faith that everything will work out and you're not really um, caring so much whether it does or it doesn't. It's just like, oh, well, it'll it'll work if it works. And that's kind of like the mindset of, of the fool. Like he's just not really caring. If you notice like with the imagery, it's like he's about to walk off of cliff, but he doesn't look that concerned, <laughs> you know? And so, you know, that's kind of like the whole, um, I would say like under, or not understanding, but like the whole, um, basis of the full card is just that like, you know, you're kind of like, Things may not feel like they're going that well. Oh, well, I'm just going to pack up and start over and hope for the best. You know, it, it's kind of like that mindset. Okay. And then with having the tower in reverse, it's kind of like you refusing to accept whatever change is happening or whatever is being presented to you. Okay. Um, there's, there's usually like a state of confusion during this time because, Perhaps this change came about so suddenly and you're not quite sure how to necessarily go about it. Okay. Um, this doesn't mean it's the end all be all. It just means it's going to take you some time to kind of sort things out um, to figure out whether or not or how I should say you proceed. Okay. We have the four of swords here and the four of swords talks about like the calm after the storm. Okay. So what I kind of like is the imagery here. We've got like this, just, I don't really care anymore. I'm just going to let all be all and hope for the best. But at the same time with the tower here in reverse, it's just, you know, that state of confusion, that state of like, I refuse to let go of the past. I refuse to let go of my old habits. And you're just allowing yourself to continue to suffer and go through the same thing over and over. Okay. But with the four of swords here, this is talking about you needing that time to rest and figure out what it is that you need um, to move forward. Basically, it's like you're done fighting, you're done 
um, the dust has settled on the situation and you're going to try to do whatever it is that you can to recalm, recollect yourself. So then that way you can then move forward. Okay. So again, it's not a hundred percent a no, and it's not a hundred percent a yes, but I think it can or could lead to a possible yes. Okay. Once you're able to make sense of your sudden change or whatever it is that you're refusing to change, um, I think you will find that it will work out better for you. You just need kind of that time for yourself to reflect, to calm down, and then you might be able to have this full mindset of just, you know what, I'm going to let happen whatever happens, happens, and I'm going to be positive about it. And if you do, it's kind of like that law of attraction. If you put out positivity, positivity will then return to you, okay? But if you focus on the negative, you'll stay negative. So this is what I'm saying. It's like either or, you know, it it could go either way at this point in time. So it's really up to you if you really want to take that time for yourself. Um, And it could go either way, like I said. (laughs) All right. All right. So the next one card that we're going to go over is your energy card. And you have the door to spirit, but it's in the reverse position. Okay. Now, with the door to spirit, this talks about, um, I think, with that sudden change, again, like with not being able or accepting of it, um, there could be some distractions going on. And I... Again, I think of the tower with that sudden change, that confusion, all of that going on right now, preventing you to um, sort out what exactly it is that you need to. Um, In the reverse, it says this card um, in reverse, you may find yourself feeling in, in extreme disconnect. It seems your intuition is failing and you can't maintain the peaceful moments you are longing for. Okay, so. Um, again, I, what I think, what I was mentioning earlier is if you're able to sort out whatever chaos is going on and you allow yourself that time for calm and relaxation, you can then turn this around and actually go through and experience what the full card is all about. Okay. Okay. So I like the fact that you have this as your energy card because it is talking about the overall energy here that is being presented to you guys at this point in time, okay? Um, But like I had mentioned earlier, it's not a definitive yes or no, and that really all depends on you. And I know that's not necessarily the answer you may have wanted to hear, um, but I think it's a good reminder that, you know, you are in charge of, you know, your ultimate outcome. So the only way that you can achieve the positive outcome that you want is if you allow yourself that time to calm, you know, that sense of calm, relaxation, collect your thoughts, and then figure out a way of how you can sort out what exactly is going to work for you and what isn't. Okay. So group number two, I hope that was helpful. And we are going to move on to our last and final group with the lapis lazuli. Okay, then right there. Energy card. I'm going to go here. All right. Let's see what we have. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. The Devil. And the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So group number three. I'm going to say this is a no. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't mean to be so, so abrupt and so negative, but um, just right off the bat, I'm going to say this is a hard no. And the reason why I say that is because you've got the three of swords in the reverse position. Now, when the three of swords is in the upright position, it's still not necessarily a positive card. I'd say this card overall is pretty negative, but when it's in the reverse, especially it's talking about your, your state of mind in that you are in complete or could be in complete depression, um, 
or all in your own head that you're clouding your own judgment. You can't see which way is right or wrong. You're so consumed with whatever heartache is plaguing you at the moment that it's hard for you to make the right decision. And I hope that makes sense. Okay. We have the devil card here in the, in the middle and what the devil card represents, it talks about like not the actual devil himself, but more so like the bad things within us that we allow ourselves to um, consume us. Okay. And that can indicate like addictions, um, that can talk about like toxic relationships. Okay. Um, I think of toxic relationships right away because with the, um, three of, three of swords, this usually is considered a relationship card and it's the ending of a relationship. Okay. So, for, for some of you, perhaps this, you guys are wondering if you should get back together with your ex or something. And no, absolutely not. This would be a hard no, because clearly this person was not a good fit for you. They were toxic. For some reason, you guys just weren't compatible and either brought out the worst in each other or they, you know, brought out the worst in you and maybe you didn't like who you were when you were with them or vice versa. Um, and even though there is that sense of, um, you know, longing for it to work out, it's just clearly, it's just not meant to be. Okay. Um, and then with the King of Pentacles in reverse, this is also indicating, um, a sense of, what was the word? Um, like caution. Yeah. Sorry. I was, I don't know why I was like blanking on that name, but like a sense of caution because clearly whomever I, and I, I think in this situation, this is really talking about a relationship. So like I mentioned earlier, if you guys were considering, um, getting back together with an ex or something of that nature, um, this is a complete caution to say no, because this talks about, either danger, you know, either in like a business venture because we have with the king of pentacles. So perhaps this person, you know, took money from you or, um, maybe you get lent them too much money and they never paid you back. Um, this is basically saying that there's some sort of something was unfair about this partnership. Okay. Um, whether it was in a business dealing. So if this doesn't apply to you as, as far as like a relationship, um, and perhaps if you're wondering if you should get into business with someone or start a business with someone, um, this is going to say, no, absolutely not. There's something shady that could be going on. Um, your finances could be at risk at this point. And I just think there's just too much negativity clouding your judgment at the time. So it's not a good time for you to make any hasty decisions at this point in time. Okay. So let's see what your um, energy card is. The overall energy for this contract. Yeah. <laughs> so like I said, I, I, Personally, I'm getting the vibe that this is a relationship. Um, but again, it could be a business relationship. Okay. And with the contract card, this is talking about you going into um, some type of formal contract with another person. So some type of business dealings where you and another person are coming together. Okay. Now, um, what I'm noticing a lot with this imagery, it's like... Um, you've got the blind faith here that things will work out. But if you don't read the fine print, well, then it could, you could get swindled or something could end up happening, um, not necessarily in your favor. Okay. So I personally am thinking that for those of you who are considering either going back to an old relationship or, going into, um, some sort of new business venture with somebody, this is a no, I, I would say you're going to have to either wait it out, give it some more time, do some more research, um, focus a little bit more on you, clear your head because clearly at this point, some of you guys might be so clouded with whatever is just plaguing you right now. Um, because like I said, this is all about you in your own head. 
So if you're able to clear all of that first, I think then you'll be able to kind of sort out the negativity uh, either of people or things around you. And um, it'll be a little bit clearer for you to uh, see whether or not this is a good idea or not. Uh, but hopefully this reading alone will give you that clarification. All right. So I'm sorry, group number three. I mean, I hope that wasn't too, too harsh, but I mean, hopefully that does help you guys out, especially if you weren't a hundred percent sure if you should, um, go through with something. So hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, I love doing this reading. This was actually probably one of my quicker readings, I would say <laughs> overall. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this and if you have any other future videos you guys would like to see, I would love to hear from you. Please go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.